Oshodi is one of the most important routes within the Lagos metropolis, known for its connectivity to many areas. Reason why it's always bustling with life, day or night. Commuting is not always easy here, which is why the Lagos state government decided to step in to make movement easier for residents. The Oshodi bus interchange was completed in 2019, a project so dear to the heart of the state government that it was commissioned by Nigeria's number one citizen, President Muhammad Buhari. A year later, Terminal 2 of the interchange is now ready for use in compliance with COVID-19 protocols. Passengers are required to get their tickets at this point and waiting here for buses. Governor Babajide Sonwolu arrives at the terminal to commission the Oshodi Abuli Egba bus rapid transit system infrastructure, which includes the deployment of 550 iron medium capacity buses and the launch of an extended e ticketing system. Senior officials in charge of the project talk about its operations. The deployment of these buses will be to areas including this newly commissioned Abuli Egba Oshodi BRT route, Ikodu to TBS BRT route, services out of the Peja bus terminal, services out of the newly completed Ongo bus terminal, as well as the Lagos Badagri Expressway. It's calculated that over 60,000 passengers will have access to the BRT on this corridor. With this bus rapid system, which we believe will be carrying between 60,000 to 80,000 passengers per day. But once we see that there's a higher need, we'll provide more buses. And we're believing that it can probably do up to 100,000 when it gets to the full capacity. The major solution that we're bringing about is we're bringing together an experience where we will be using a single means of transportation, which will be our card. We'll be deploying about 100,000 free cards to all our citizens. With the commissioning of this multimodal integrated transport system, the Lagos State Government indicates that public transportation accessibility has been enhanced by 25%. Titi Layo, Abereowo, Channels Television News.